Hi, everybody. I'm here with Emma. Hi. Hi, guys. So, we got some cool microphones, so the video and the audio quality should be pretty good. Uh, I was going to talk about uh, love. You like talking about love? Yes. Are you in love? Yeah. What are you in love with? <laughs> you. Oh, I'm in love with you, too. I love lovey. love. Lovey. I love lovey, too. Here's our little boy, lovey. He's such a little sweetheart. Love. Lovey. We call him Love because he's full of love. Yeah. But I was going to talk about love and love being the motive of your of your words and of your corrections and of your uh, when you're trying to help somebody. When you try to help somebody, do you just tell them what, what's wrong with them and all their problems? No. No? Because they'll just get mad, right? Yeah. They'll be like, hey, don't tell me what to do. You know, and I found out while well, I was talking to a friend and he says, well, I want to help one of my friends. One of my friends is in trouble. How do I help them? And he says, well, I should just tell him, I know what you're doing. You're wrong. I don't believe you. You're, you're doing something bad. And I said, well, how do you know? Well, what's the motive of your heart to correct them? Is it because you love them and you want to help them? Or are you just trying to be right? And you just try to sound like you're doing the right thing. So I said, if love is the motive of your heart, when you speak with somebody and it comes from a place of love, it will really touch their heart. You know, say, hey, uh, are you okay? What's going on? You know, and they say, you know, I've been really hurting. So I've been maybe drinking or doing drugs. And you're like, oh, you're hurting? Oh, I'm so sorry. Instead of saying, you need to stop doing drugs. You need to stop drinking. That doesn't really help anybody. And once you find out what's going on in someone's life, you can speak to them and help them from a place of love. Right? In, in school, um, somebody was crying sitting next to me, and I made them happy, and the rest of the day they were happy. Yeah. You yeah. see? Because sometimes people need a little happiness in their life, and they're a little sad, you know? So my goal is whenever I help people, is I want to find out what's going on and how can I help you. How can I be a better friend to you? And I want to approach everybody with love. And even at work or whoever I meet, I always try to talk to them and find out, like, what's going on? Maybe I can speak the best about them. Because it's easy to speak the bad thing. You know, when someone's naughty at school, you can say, hey, you're bad. You're doing something wrong. That's easy to say. But what if they're doing something because they're hurting and they're maybe acting wild and you say, wow, you're really cool kid. I really like you, you know, and you speak the best about them. You always find the right good things to say about somebody, you know, like sometimes when your brothers pick on you, you can say, wow, you guys are really good brothers. You always protect me. And when I was drowning, you saved me, right? Yeah. But you don't have to always speak the bad things. You got to speak what you see in someone's life. I always like to look through heaven's eyes. Remember that one song? In the Moses movie, to look through heaven's eyes, how does God see them? And God really loves people. And we always try to speak to people with so much love. And we try to help them see who they really are and not who they've been acting like. So one of the things that has been working a lot for me lately is just to see the best in people. And everything inside me wants to speak that they're doing something wrong, I don't like this, I don't like this, and my mind has a hundred things I want to say that they're doing wrong. But when I see them, I say, you know what, I'm really proud of you. You know, you're doing really well, and you're, you're really changing, and you're really doing a good job. And that encourages them way much more. And one of my friends says, well, you need to stop helping people. You need to stop, uh, you know, helping people who are doing the wrong thing. And I said, but when do you want me to give up on you? Do you want me to give up on you when you need help? Or do you want me to help you the most in your most difficult moments? That's why I never like giving up on people. And I like to, I believe, do you believe in a second chance? Do you believe in a third chance and a fourth chance and a fifth chance? Yeah, I would believe in giving people a lot of chances because maybe they just need help, you know? But yeah, so that's love. What's the motive? And that's what I always look for. And I hope that you guys, when you're helping people, you always find love as your motive in everything. Bye-bye.